in this lecture we will continue with our discussion of the demand or demand curve and today we will be specifically focusing on the shift versus movement of demand curve a similar concept we already discussed in the supply but we'll be doing now using a demand curve so in economics we differentiate between the movement along the demand curve and the shift of demand curve so what does movement means movement is also known as change in quantity demanded and it is called movement along the demand curve and it's caused by the price of the product if the price of the product changes and as a result the change that happens on demand curve that's called movement along the demand curve it becomes clearer when we will do example so this is a demand curve and we all know demand curve is downward sloping why because there's an inverse relationship in the price of the product and the quantity demanded so we measuring price on the vertical axis quantity so, so this should be quantity on the horizontal axis and suppose the price is now one dollars at one dollars they are buying something here and now as price increases to two dollars as a result purchase decreases so it decreases as price increases purchase decreases from here to here so move from this point to this point essentially you are moving from this point a to point b on the demand curve so you can see as price increases you are moving from point a to b so it's you are moving along the demand curve so that's why it's called movement along the demand curve and movement along the demand curve so movement along demand curve which is also known as change in quantity demanded is caused by change in price of the product under consideration so it's caused by change in the price of the product that we are trying to sell so if price increases we are moving from point a to b now this is different from shift now change in demand and change in demand is uh, also shaped it's caused by factors other than the price of the commodity that means it is shift caused by change in factors other than price now how do I denote it in a graphical format? Again, we'll do a demand curve. So demand curve, if you shift to right, it's increase in demand. So right shift implies increase in demand. And how do we understand it? So let's say this is the price, say is $5. So you can see at $5 on this demand curve, you might be buying 10 units. Here, you might be buying 20 units. Now, why this change can happen? Maybe this demand curve associated with, say, say $1,000 income. And this demand may be associated with $5,000 income. And we all know as income increases, you tend to buy more of a product because that's the general tendency think about that if your income increases you might want to have five houses instead of one houses if your income increases you might want to go for multiple vacations instead of one vacation depending on your income so for the same price you are willing to spend more and that's why this is called the shift of demand curve on the other hand this is a left shift which is called decrease in demand so left shift implies decrease in demand and in this case for the same price you might be buying less which is even lower maybe six units so what it is showing you is that for the same price if other factors changes it can cause a shift of the demand curve 
either left or right depending on the situation. If something increases demand, it's a right shift. If something decreases demand, it's a left shift. Now, one important thing I would like to point out is that always in think, think in terms of left and right when you are discussing shifts, either demand curve or supply curve. Never think in terms of up and down because in this case, it's easy. So if you leave shift right, it's an increase. But in the supply, shift right often means you are moving, shifting it towards the downside, which is an increase. Down doesn't mean decrease in supply. So it's a very important distinction you want to make. So always think in terms of right or left shift. So let's discuss some of the factors that influence demand. Obviously, price, it always represents movement along the demand curve. Income, it's a shift. So as income increase, shift right because right is increased in the goods you want to buy price of the related good if price of related good increase uh, for example if the price of the android phones increases what does it mean that means your iphones are relatively cheaper so which means that there's a shift right for demand for iPhones. Tests, typically a better positive test associated with better more demand. So shift right. Expectations, depending on what kind of expectations, it can be the shift left or right. And finally, the number of buyers. As number of buyers increases, your demand curve will be shifting right. If number of buyers decreases, it should be shifting left. So right shift always means increase. Left shift always means decrease.